Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for the Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram for this special type of the beam. This can be seen either it is not a cantilever beam or simply supported beam. But this is a simply supported beam you can see here with the uh, portion extended as a cantilever. So, and the cantilever portion is only loaded with the uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter. The length of this portion of the beam is 5 meter with there is no load acting on the beam and the length of this loaded portion cantilever portion is 3 meter. We want to find to draw the shear force in bending moment diagram for this beam. So to start for the shear force first we have to find the support reactions. Let's take this as the uh, point A and this support is point B. And let us assume that the two support reactions are acting upward which I represent by RB and this by R. Now, to find the support reaction, let us assume that the uh, moment, that the summation of moment at the point A is equal to 0. Summation of moment at point A is equal to 0. So, RB, I suppose that the clockwise moment is acting as positive and anti-clockwise acting as negative. So, this load RB is acting in the clockwise direction, right? So, RB will be negative and to this moment on and then this load is acting in the clockwise direction so this is uniformly distributed load to convert into pointed load we should multiply with this distance 3 meter so 2 is a uniformly distributed load so 2 into 3 it will be concentrated load 6 kN I, I convert this uniformly distributed load into the, uh, in, in the concentrated load so you should multiply the load with the length so 2 into 3 we got the 6 and now the moment arm for this load will be this 3, so this will be 1.5, the half of this length, and this is the 5 meter. So the whole length for this moment arm for this load will be 6.5. This is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive. 6 into 1.5 meter. Summation of moment is equal to 0 at the point A. Now to find the R beam, simply move this these terms into the right side. So I simply move this one into the right side to get it positive. So this comes out to be Rb by dividing this 5 it comes out to be C1.8 kN. This is very easy to simple just bringing this into the right side and then multiplying these two and dividing by 5 we get the Rb is equal to 7.8. Now to find the Ra so I can use this equation that the summation of moment Summation of vertical forces is equal to 0. So, Ra is acting upward. I can take it positive. Similarly, Rb is acting upward. These are acting upward and this is acting downward. So, 2 into 3. It's a uniformly distributed load. So, I will multiply the whole length on which it is distributed. So, 2 into 3, it is 6. Summation of vertical forces is equal to 0. So now I can put the values of RB, RA is unknown to us, so RB I can put this into the right side, so 2 into 3 it comes out to be 6 and RB it is positive so it will become negative and minus 1.8 is the RB value. So RA comes out to be minus 1.8 kN. It means that this negative sign shows that your RA direction is in the opposite direction. So I will switch this change direction that Ra is acting in the downward direction with the magnitude of 1.8 kN. Understand? 1.8 kN. And Rb is acting as 7.8 kN in the upward direction, while the Ra is acting in the downward direction. So you should know that when your sign changes, it means that your assumption is wrong, you should change your assumption. Now to draw the shear for the bending moment diagram, for this beam, I will first draw the reference line for the shear force and bending moment. So these are the important critical points. So I will draw the reference line on these points. And this is the end of the beam. So these are my reference line and this reference line for the shear force, 0, 0. It means the 0 value of the shear force at this point, which is the shear force in kilonewton. Because my R units are in kilonewton. Now to start with the shear force diagram is I know that my RA reaction is acting downward and the magnitude is 1.8 kN. So this will act downward 1.8 kN. 
and then there is no load acting on this beam so I will draw a straight line which shows there is no load acting on this beam in this portion and then there is a load of 7.8 kN in the upward direction so I will my 1.8 was acting downwards or negative and then 7.8 is acting upward so it comes out to be by adding these two it comes out to be 6 kN so this is 1.8 and I add the negative 1.8 to the 7.8 so it comes out to be 6 so 6 kN here in the upward direction this is 6 now this load is acting in the downward direction so how much the 2 is uniformly distributed load and 3 is the distance so 2 into 3, 6 kN is acting downward this load on this beam. So 6 kN, if I subtract it, 6 kN from the 6, it comes out to be 0. It means that it will support, at this support, your shear force is 0. Now similarly to draw the bending moment diagram for this beam, so I will take help from the support, from the shear forces. This is the reference line for the bending moment diagram. And it can be seen is that this is negative and this is positive. So this is the uh, area of the shear force. I can find the area of this shear force diagram and area of this shear force diagram and I can draw my bending moment. So now the area of this shear force is 1.8 is the height and the length is 5 meter. 5. So this will be the bending moment of 0, 0 reference line. Bending moment in the units of kilonewton into meter because I'm using the unit skilling Newton and meter in my example. So to find the area of the shear force, I will diagram, to, I will multiply this 1.8 is the height and the length is 5. So 1.8 into 5. I got 9. So 9 kilonewton meter is the shear force which is acting at this point. Since it is negative, so this shear force will acting in this direction. And this is 0 degree line is a straight line while this is the uh, the shear the bending moment diagram should always be one degree greater than the shear force this is a zero degree line horizontal line so this will be one degree line a linear line so the moment here comes out to be nine kilonewton so i can write it here the nine kilonewton uh, nine kilonewton into meter is the moment acting at this point you find the area of this rectangle and put the value of this rectangle here at this point here it is zero because it is uh, hence support it cannot resist moment so it is 0 and here it is 9 kN meter now the area of this triangle we can find it the area of triangle can be found as half base into height so half my base is this distance which is 3 meter which is 3 in our case so 3 and the height is 6 so 6 so by multiplying and adding this I get 9 kN meter so my this area is 9 kN meter so I can just starting from this point I can write here the area of this triangle is 9 kN so it is in upward direction so by adding this 9 into this my negative 9 this is negative 9 and this is positive 9 so it will comes out to be 0 at this point at this point the bending moment will be 0 because when you add the negative 9 with the positive 9 your solution comes out to be zero. Hope you guys understand how to draw the shear for the bending moment diagram. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for digital engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.